Hello, it's me, Raina, your friendly neighborhood witch of what the f And I am standing on my back porch. I live in the woods and it's a beautiful day in Wisconsin. And I figured, hey, I'll just film outside and even hear the cicadas buzzing. This is what a real paint shirt looks like. I didn't bother to change, I probably should have, but you all understand if you're watching these videos, you're as dirty as I am, maybe. <laughs> so. My ADD is so bad today, I can barely film. Okay, so I've been putting this little piggy pigments in resin. What I don't show you in the video you're gonna watch is what resin I actually use. So I'll show you. See if I can get this on camera. All right, this is the amazing clear cast, two part, uh, equal volume one to one. I just got this at Michael's. This little pigment in Sapphire and this little pigment in Emerald are the stars of today's show. And of course I mix it with glitter. I'm kind of obsessed with glitter. You should know that by now. This is uh, the Recollections line also at Michael's. This is Iridescent Blue and this is Frost, both very pretty. I add some of this holographic like blue flakes to the sapphire <laughs> and this like holographic kind of like turquoisey teal green. And this just kind of like, you know, basic everyday green glitter to the emerald. You know, I think I've said enough. You'll see me again in the future and you just have to listen to me talk not through the rest of the video. If you have any questions about piggies and resin, ask me. There'll be more videos of this, I think. They're fun and I've just been pouring a lot of resin lately. So yeah, we'll see ya. Have a good one. Here are my resins mixed. It's a whole cup. It's really boring to watch mixing it. So I just did that off camera. You don't need to use a lot of pigments. You'll see that's just a standard popsicle stick and I'm just kind of loading up the end and dropping it in. A little goes a long way. Stir it up real good for a whole lot of time. Make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom real well. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I love it. It truly looks like a sapphire. Well, that color, I mean, sapphires are, oh, shut up, Raina. Glitter, cause I can't not add glitter. I'm a little heavy handed. You probably don't need as much as I put in. Stir it for your life. I do not know what I would do without the ability to fast forward so much of this. Don't hold me to it, but I think I got these holographic flakes on Miniature Sweet. I'm not sure the web address, but just Google Miniature Sweet. It's a very nice store for resin molds and all sorts of other things. I'm pouring a set of runes here. These are Futhark runes. I sell these at a local metaphysical shop and boy do they sell well. So I make a bunch of them. Runes are used for divination, kind of like tarot but quite different. If you would like to see another video about runes specifically, I made one. I put coffee grounds in resin in that one. No pigments, just coffee grounds and glitter. I'll link that below and you can check it out if you want to know more about resin casting with coffee and more about runes. This is a crescent moon tray that I found on Amazon, the mold. Just look up crescent moon tray silicone mold on Amazon and you will find it. It's nice. It's got five little indentations that fit tea lights or if you're me, shot glasses.
fun tip, if you keep plastic spoons around, they are really good for resin work. That's what I'm doing right here. I'm just taking an old plastic spoon. There you go. I didn't actually think I had enough resin to do a whole other cup with the green, thus I poured so much in the blue mold. I really wanted to do more of a half and a half color-wise, you know, equal parts, blue and green. I had to turn my resin bottle upside down in the cup and let it all drip out, and lo and behold, it was four ounces of A and four ounces of B, so another cup it was. Next time I'll try this, I'll make sure that I have enough in the beginning so I can do my half and half moon like I want to do. Hey, if you look at the green runes right now, see all that kind of white stuff in the middle of it? That's bubbles. So I've got another real fun tip. Get one of those little one ounce squirt bottles or two ounce or whatever, you know, the kind that you push down and it, and it squirts on things. Oh, that sounds dirty. Anyway, get one of those little spray bottles. Fill it of Everclear, like the grain alcohol. Or, you know, if you're in a, in a place where that's not cool, 91% rubbing alcohol is fine too if you can find it. I feel like during the whole COVID crisis, it has been nowhere to be found, but Everclear is really easy to find. So anyway, fill a little squirt bottle with alcohol and just spritz it on your resin and you can watch all of those bubbles just pop. And it is so dang satisfying to do it too. So highly recommend it. It'll make your life so much easier. It gets rid of the bubbles and it preserves your mold because you're not applying heat to it. I don't use any heat because it damages the mold. So I just like to spray it with Everclear. Here I'm swirling it up, trying to mix the emerald and the sapphire. And now the extra satisfying part, demolding. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hang out, there'll be more. I like mixed media, you know, I like to paint, I like to play with resin, but there's other things I like to do too, and other things I definitely will do. So I hope you stick around. Now I shall turn you over to the music. Signing off, your friendly neighborhood witch of Wuthering.